Today, we are going to make a balloon scream. No, not like that. But it is science-y. Well, let's figure out a way to make it a little bit more interesting. girl of science girls lab and welcome to another episode of science girls home lab these are videos where I get to show you science activities you can do at home with the materials you might already have you are going to need a couple of balloons I have clear balloons but you can use any color you want a few pennies and a few hex nuts your first task is to take your balloon and a hex nut and put it inside it in a hat. Then with the hex nut inside of the balloon, blow it up. And then you need to tie it off. Dang it! As you can see in my balloon, I have my hex nut in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna firmly spin my balloon around and then we're gonna see what happens. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> now I wonder what would happen if we put a penny into the balloon. Do the same thing, blow it up. Now you have a balloon with a penny in it. Now do the same thing like you did with the hex nut. Give it a firm swirl around and watch it go. <gasps> There it goes. You see it? But interestingly enough, it's almost completely silent. That is so weird. I wonder what the difference is between a penny and a hex nut, to where the hex nut makes noises, but the penny does not. Hmm. The corners of a hex nut will hit the side of the balloon, making that humming noise. However, the penny has round, smooth edges, so it does not make the balloon vibrate like the hex nut does. Now let's bring the screaming balloon party up a notch. I am not only gonna put one, but two, and then not only that, but three hex nuts into my single balloon. Don't get finger caught again. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's too good. I wonder how many hex nuts I can put in a balloon. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's fine. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a screaming balloon. Have a fun time and always remember to go be awesome. Bye-bye, guys.